Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. The US president speculated that his Chinese counterpart was concerned about an economic crisis and would not launch an attack. US President Joe Biden said that China's leaders were too busy solving their country's economic difficulties to launch an attack aimed at forcible unification with self-rule Taiwan. Speaking at a news conference Sunday during a state visit to Hanoi, Biden was asked whether Beijing's economic difficulties could lead to a more aggressive stance toward Taipei. I don't think this will cause China to invade Taiwan, in fact, it's quite the opposite, he said. China, probably doesn't have the capacity it once had. Calling Chinese President Xi Jinping Prime Minister 11, Mr Biden said the Chinese leader is overcoming economic difficulties, especially in the real estate sector. The US president said, he is busy right now. He was experiencing heavy unemployment at a young age. One of the key economic principles of his plan no longer works. I'm not happy about that, but it doesn't work. Biden, who last month called Beijing's economy a ticking time bomb, has denied that his administration has tried to curb China's economic growth or geopolitical influence. I want to see China succeed economically, but I want to see China succeed under the rules. He added that recent US efforts to forge closer defense ties with China's neighbors were aimed at maintaining stability and not at the expense of Beijing. It's about ensuring that traffic rules, from airspace and ocean space to international road rules, are respected. Since Biden took office in 2021, Sino-US relations have deteriorated amid the Russia-Ukraine conflict and accusations of Washington meddling in the Taiwan Strait. Last week, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi warned that Southeast Asian countries risked being used as geopolitical pawns and triggering an Indo-Pacific version of the Ukraine crisis. Although Biden emphasized that he had no intention of harming China, he added, what I will not do is I will not sell China any materials that would enhance its ability to produce more weapons nuclear, participating in defense activities. Activities. Activities that go against what is considered, as most people think, a positive development in the region. Biden argued that the United States has the strongest economy in the world, and he speculated that China's economic weakness would make conflict between the countries less likely. I just think the leadership was thinking about other things and they were responding to what was needed at the time, he said. China's gross domestic product grew at a rate of 5.5% in the first half of this year, compared with a growth rate of about 2% in the United States. China's ambassador to Washington, Xie Feng, warned late last month that it would be completely unrealistic to expect the United States to prosper in the event of China's economic collapse. He added that U.S. efforts to decouple economically from Beijing would further complicate an already difficult global recovery. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.